Podcast. Well folks, welcome to the next video in the series of building a spinning rod. So I'm just going to go through um, some of the basics of putting the rod rings onto the rod. And one of the first things that I wanted to talk about was these twist lock sections. So when you twist a twist lock together, the sides of the split cane and the particular point on this rod will always end up in the same place. You cannot just put the rod rings anywhere, so you have to choose uh, on, a, on a split cane section, it's hexagonal, so it's got six sides, so you have to choose one of the sides where the rings go, and then where you put the rings onto the round section has to be in a place where the twist lock will line up the rings every time. Otherwise, <laughs> it, it won't, and then you'll be you'll have a problem. Okay, so you can see kind of where the rod rings are. That small one at the end there, that's going to be about 45mm when it's, when it's installed. I've just put that one there as a placeholder. So if we come along, we've then, I'm going to try to see if we can get the whole rod in there. There you go. We've then spaced the rings entirely empirically. So there's no actual measurements going on here. It's just an empirical guess at where they should be. And it does look right. So what I'm going to do now is just mark off carefully where they're going to go. And then we can foil it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put a felt tip dot where the base of this foot's going to go on each one of them. Bear in mind, this can be tricky on some bamboo rods are not very straight so it can be tricky on some of them but um, that helps me to get it lined up all the way down okay so remember this from earlier on in the videos okay so what we're going to do is just going to run through a little upgrade that you can do with a bronco so i'll just show you this so first we need to take the screws out and take the handle off so when you wind this type of reel you sometimes get like a wobble or a flutter as you wind the reel and it feels like the um, the reel top is unbalanced. On old fashioned reels you used to have a counterweight but on these reels they're actually balanced either side so you shouldn't really get that. But the reason that you are getting that flutter is because these reel cases are made of plastic. Now you can see as I, as I move this you can see the amount of play there is there and that's because the end bearing effectively of this uh, head shaft which holds the main bearing of the reel is actually just in a bit of plastic. This is quite a, a, a cheap level reel, the Bronco, and after a while the plastic wears away and you end up with uh, quite a lot of play in the system. And then what you get is the, um, the handle wind shaft which comes through here. Um, that also goes into plastic bushes which are just there. So if I tip that out, um, that's what you see, a little plastic bush. Now then, uh, just as a tip for you guys who like your Broncos and your, your Cardinal Reels, if you want to keep your Bronco going, um, here's, here's a couple of things, right? Some um, ball bearings there that we bought on eBay. That ball bearing race, it's a 10 bore and it's something like 16 by 8, um, but it's exactly the same size as that plastic bush. So you can upgrade your Bronco with a bearing. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to show you what I'm going to do with the end piece here. If I get to take the bearing here, and remember this is a ball bearing race rather than just a plastic piece. You can see how it just clips in. And it also clips into the one on the other side too. So you can upgrade your Bronco to a ball bearing reel pretty easily. Okay, so for the, for the end of the head bearing, what I've actually done here is... I've took a strip of 0.2mm brass and I did measure the play in the end of the shaft there with a feeler gauge. It measures about half mil play so if you have that that's your 0.2 that's actually 0.25 but never mind 0.2 is good enough and then I very carefully made a little cylinder with it which you can see when I put that upside down. I then cut a hole in a flat sheet of 0.2 and soldered the cylinder onto it and then I cut a flange so we've got like a cylinder with a flange on it so I'm just going to show you how to upgrade your Bronco with that okay so this here is your head bearing uh, for this particular reel I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way <laughs> and um, that piece comes off and this is the brass bush which is the the uh, actual bearing itself which is the bit you need to put oil onto and this piece at the end here is the piece we're going to upgrade now you can see, so you can see here that I've got a 6mm drill bit. That little brass cylinder has been wrapped around the 6mm drill bit to get it to the right size. 
and bring it back and focus that to get it to the right size. And you can see how it moves up and down the 6mm drill bit quite easily. That end of that shaft just there, that's also 6mm just here. Okay, and so you can see that if I put it on there and then try and get it in focus, you can see there it fits on pretty well and it spins pretty well. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to insert that into here. Now that's difficult to show on camera because it's going to be all fingers and thumbs but I'll show you it when it's done. So there you can kind of see that I've got it in there. I'm just going to push it with a screwdriver so it goes flush. Now you can see it's a bit flush now. And so if I put the head bearing in, there you go. So you can see how that turns. If you're going to do this, what you need to do is put the spool bearing, the spool slider in there, insert it into the back there, and then just make sure that the thing still spins. Because uh, you can get difficulties with, um, it's mainly the end of this, which is uh, raised a bit high because the centre part's worn away. So you just need to make it fit, and make it work, and then your reel will work perfectly. And that's part of the upgrade. And now, as you can see, if I waggle that, the end of it's no longer waggling anymore. And this bit isn't bolted down yet, so I won't worry about that just yet. So when that's bolted down, it'll be rock solid, and it'll be pretty good. <laughs> Nearly lost it. We're in this position where the other bearing race, I'll just get my hands out of the way, you can see how that just fits in like that. Absolutely brilliant. Now on this particular reel, uh, you, 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 you see the little tag that goes into that fork just there. And this has to go down before the spool slider goes in or you won't get it on. <laughs> okay, so this piece is a very close fit with the bearing race. So you just need to make sure that you go over it with a little bit of emery if it's a bit tight and just get it nice and close fit. But that's what you want because you don't want it wobbling. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And as you can see, that, that prevents that from coming out. Now this head bearing here, it is possible to upgrade that to a ball bearing. And what you have to do is you have to get the brass shaft from... Um, an Abu Cardinal Max 4 and it is an interchangeable part So, uh, further assembly of this, there's a little catch that screws into the top here. Okay, so that's the slider screw in place. Okay, so that's what it looks like. There's a little clip there that holds the uh, spool pin in. And the spool pin has to go in after this. And also, it has to go in after this. So that's spinning just fine, and there's no sign of flutter whatsoever. Um, superb. Okay folks, we've shown you a little bit about the rod rings, and we've upgraded our Bronco. You can see there we've wound some of them already. And that brings us to the end of this little video. Thanks very much for watching folks, bye.